I just have to show you guys. Look, they have an outdoor grill area, fire pit, this outdoor, and this screened in porch besides the rest of the house and this gorgeous lot, home partner's property. <laughs> hey guys, it's Natasha with soldbynat.com, associate broker with Virtual Properties Realty. I like need to stand back so you can see me, but then I want you to hear me. I am in my client's home, about to be their home. Um, they are lease purchasing it through Home Partners of America. Closing is tomorrow. It is now 7.13 p.m. I just finished taking um, walkthrough pictures so I can send to Home Partners so that they'll fund closing. If all of that sounds foreign, please check out this video here where I brought you, I think that was the first Home Partners video I did. Um, it was a closing day. And then this one where I broke down some tips uh, for agents and also buyers and i might have mentioned for sellers that may be considering accepting a home purchase offer i cannot wait to bring you guys the details on this home these clients how this all worked out because it's late and i have other things to go work out and negotiate between buyers and sellers i'm not going to do it now but i will give you guys the details so right now, I don't know if you guys can see outside, I, but I'm gonna go through and shut off all of the lights so you guys can see a little bit of this home, just a little bit. It's, man, the way this worked out, maybe that wasn't helpful, I'll say that. All right, let me come into the master. Look how nice this master is. Yeah, they left all of the window treatments. I, I think that's gonna be okay with home partner. I mean, it better be okay with home partner. So, it, yeah. If not, I'll be coming tomorrow and taking out. All, no, I will not be doing that. So, hopefully, I think that it's window treatments are fine. We'll see. If it's not, I'll be coming back to you and letting you know it's not fine. It is on a full basement. It also has a bonus room upstairs is it one room and a full bathroom and a big closet and storage closet yeah it's it's nice and then master on the main level um dining screened in porch i'll insert that clip here that i took when i was outside has a study and then we have two other bedrooms, which are Jacques and Jill. Um, yeah, this was a gem. This was a gem. If you watch my past videos, you know, lease purchase, it can be some work. And this was the case um, work in the sense of finding a home and everything lining up and it working out um, between the seller and the client and home partners. And this did, it worked out wonderfully. Wasn't our first offer that was submitted, but um, yeah, it worked out guys. So let me get out of here. Let me take pictures of the front. Did I mention the neighborhood though? Do you see the neighborhood? It's gorgeous. It really is nice. Four sided brick. All right, I'm gonna get out of here. I'm gonna take pictures of the front. I'm gonna get out of here and then um, I'll bring you guys the deets on this one. I am back to bring you the home partners update. It has actually been couple weeks now. Oh, she's rewind. 
uh, just a nugget for agents if you're out there and you're thinking about uh, making videos a tip that i will give you record it while it's fresh it's so much easier to get out um, so that is my nugget for you if you're an agent and you are looking to take your business to the next level maybe do youtube videos maybe you're a newer agent and you haven't found your footing yet and you want some guidance yes I am 10 years into this and I am now offering uh, agent sessions, agent strategy sessions. So go ahead to my Calendly link. It will be down below and you can schedule your one hour session. All right, back on topic. Speaking of 10 years, um, it's right here on my desk. This is a gift that I got. I had a 10 year appreciation celebration. Oh gosh, it was, it was wonderful. It was magical. How I, the pictures just brings back memories when I look at them. We just had a great time. But anyway, one of my clients, I got a lot of gifts. I didn't plan, I didn't expect to get a lot of gifts, but I did. And um, this week, uh, one of my neighbors actually made this for me. So this is awesome. So now we'll have different signing, um, sign options, I should say, different sign options at closing. So you'll start to see this one in pictures. All right, I had to, make a quick run, but I'm back. And also uh, I have my realtor pin now. I get asked a lot about that. Uh, good news, I have gone ahead and created an Amazon storefront and I have a list for realtors. So you'll find this pin. I have a bracelet that people really like. Uh, I actually have this pin in silver. Uh, I got a different license plate for the you know front of my vehicle. I have that in there. My work bag, which my laptop bag is not here. People ask me about that a lot. I'll probably be putting pictures in here so you'll see it. You can find all of that stuff in my Amazon storefront, plus more. I have several lists. Okay, now, really back on topic to uh, just bringing you the details from this home partners deal. Godly. I'm trying to look at my board to see like when exactly they closed. Please hold. All right, I'm back. We closed on September 29th, home partners and I and the seller. And then my clients, the ones that are lead, doing the lease purchase, they moved in on the 15th, I believe. So October 15th. And at the time of this recording, it is now November the 10th, 11th. 11th is Veterans Day. Salute, salute to all that have served, serving those who have given their lives. I, I have talked about that in previous videos, um, but I, today is Veterans Day. At the time that I'm recording this, it won't be the time you're seeing it, but I still need to give respect where respect is due. So, uh, what? there's a couple of things I wanna share about this transaction. Um, yeah, I'm gonna insert other videos, previous videos. Guys, I really have not been taking on uh, a lot of lease purchase clients, as well as resale buyer clients. And why? Because they're both in the same buying pool and this market is so competitive. It's also draining. It's also draining. So I had to step back. I did a video several months ago, like when the market first started getting crazy. And I'm like, what, what is going on? Like I was tired wearing myself out tired. And I realized shortly after that, like you gotta do something different. Uh, you just can't say yes to everybody while I would love to help everybody. Yeah, the lease purchase and the buyer resale market, you know, it's in the same pool and it's crazy. So. If you go to schedule my Calendly at this time, I'm not sure what it will say when you see it, but I say I'm taking on sellers, new construction, and limited buyer and lease purchase client, buyer resale. All right, so this one, I was I was reluctant to even take them on. And it was so funny because the wife, you know, the husband found me um, on YouTube and the wife was like, you know, he was kind of, you know, selling her. So with this one, I was reluctant to take this on just given the, the state of this market and knowing that when you do commit to somebody, it's it's gonna, it's gonna take a lot. 
it's going to take a lot, right? So I'm like, okay, if I'm going to take somebody on, it has to, it has to make sense. It has to make sense. Um, so for them, they were looking close to me. Uh, so getting out to see properties quickly was going to be easier. They were approved for a healthy budget. So the type of house that they were looking at, I knew, you know, we had options uh, there and could possibly not be as competitive. It still ended up being competitive. But um, so the husband found me, told the wife about me. And, you know, we went out the first time. She was like, you know, after we talked the first time, you know, I, I just wasn't sure that, that you were hungry. She said something to that effect. And we had a good conversation because I'm like, it's no, I'm hungry. It's just, I'm selective. Like you just, I just can't wear myself out and everyone has great intentions and they have an expectation in their head, but it may not match the reality of the market and what is possible. So I just, that's why you agents, if you're watching, that's why you do your consultations and you ask those questions to make sure whoever you're working with is gonna be on the same page. So fast forward, so like I said, I have other lease purchase videos. They'll be linked here. I also have a playlist as well. So you'll have that link here and it'll probably be here somewhere. So to get into this, and I'm looking down because I have notes here. So this was the first home partners client that I worked with in a while. The previous lease purchase happened to be Divi. So there were a couple of things that I noticed. I was like, oh, okay, you guys are doing better because I said in previous videos, like y'all, home partners, y'all need to get with Divi and make it a little easy on us to get offers submitted and I noticed some tweaks in home partner system. I'm like, okay, I see, I see they, they're doing those things and they are aware. I also learned a couple of things um, just regarding getting through the process. You know, in real estate, I know every transaction, you learning something, it's something different. And I guess these purchase. No different, because I learned some things as well, because everybody's situation is different. So I'm just gonna go down the list. Uh, yes, first, let me shout out first. We've probably been talking about 10 minutes now and I'm saying first, but I do wanna shout out my client and it was the cutest thing. I just have to share this story. So we went out to see property and I wanna say it's the wife's mom. She's in her late 80s, I believe. And she wanted to come out. She didn't want to stay home. She wanted to come out and see properties. Either late 80s, early 90s. I'm not sure. But mama, mama came out with us when we went to go look at property. And I think we saw a couple and it's like, okay. Or did we see this one first? Hmm. It might have been the first one. But mama loved this particular house. I mean, everybody loved the house. But mama was like, this is the one. This is the one. And then we, after that, when we went to go look at another house, mama didn't even get out of the car. Like she was, she was done. Her mind was made up. She knew like this was the house that was gonna work for them. And that was so cute. However, went to go put in an offer on this home. And this was one of the learning lessons. Uh, the status was contingent kick out, CK. Contingent with the kick out. So I checked prior to spoke to the agent and she was like, yes, we do have an offer, but there is a kickout clause. Um, so I was like, okay, so we still have a shot. Went, saw the house. Everybody loved it. Mama loved it. And went to put in an offer and home partner kicked it back. And home partners said that they do not put in offers um, on contingent homes. And I tried to explain to them, I get it. It's not like it's pending or what's the other one? Um, active, pending or active something. It's it's a new status or newer status that says, hey, we're in the contract, but we'll still allow you to show. It wasn't like that. It was, you know, basically the current buyers had some things that they had to work out and they could be kicked out of the contract. So either way, just sharing. Home Partners does not put in offers um, that are contingent with the kickout clause. So we can went back to the drawing board, continue to look at houses. Several were gone quickly. Several were gone quickly. Um, then at one point they thought about, okay, what if we buy the place that we're currently renting? Um, Home Partners does do that. So just FYI, they do do that. Um, 
there is a little stipulation as far as those houses. I think with those houses, they don't do repairs. Maybe not, let me not say that. It's not they don't do repairs. It, it's something. It's something when they're buying a house that you already live in, there's something, something. And I'll try to find it and put it in this video. But that was another learning lesson as well. Got some conflicting information when it came to properties uh, as far as being in an approved area. So they have on their website, you put in the address and it tells you, yes, this is in an approved home partners area or no, that it, no it's not. Um, my clients, they were in contact with a rep at Home Partners and she was telling them like, hey, you can just have your agent send an email and they'll double check it or check it or something like that. Sent the email, they came back and was like, no, it's not an approved area. Just go to this website and put in the address. So, you know, it is what it is. Uh, so that was that. One huge thing I forgot to mention about why I took on these clients was the husband was a, was previously in real estate. So he just understood the process. He understood the wear and tear. He said he could not stand working with buyers when he was in the business. Like that was just not his thing. Just showing multiple properties and people flaking on you and all the, yeah, he, he was not for the buyer side of it. So I like that he understood that um, because some people just, they don't get it. They just think, I'll call an agent, they'll show up at a property, show me a house, and then I can go call my my cousin who sells homes and I'll do the contract with her. We encounter a lot of flaky things like that in real estate. In addition to that, he also did a lot of legwork as well, which is helpful, and I request that, especially in this market. Like when you send me, like I already have so much to do. So if the person doing the lease purchase can do a little legwork before sending me a property, like pass me the baton. Already had that baton, already checked that baton basically. Go into Home Partners, make sure it's within your budget, make sure it's in an approved area, you know, make sure all that works, then send me the property. And then, you know, I can go from there because then I need to contact agents to verify. I need to check some things. So it, it's very helpful, especially in this market. So the husband was all on board for doing that. So that made, that was a huge plus. So just keep that in mind. If you're thinking about doing a lease purchase, like instead of just shooting your agent, like random properties here, 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 and then think, you know, they're just gonna shoot it out like that. There's a process to this, guys. There's a process. So if you can vet the property up front and say, okay, yes, I confirmed it meets my budget and I confirmed it's in an approved area. Can we go see it? Then the agent can take it from there and go on. Also, I'm not sure if I mentioned this in another video, but um, price ranges or what you're approved for with home partners, it's it, it varies depending on area, okay? so. Let's just say you look at a $400,000 house in Grayson. That monthly rent will be different from a $400,000 house in Conyers, most likely. It just, it depends on, you know, it just depends. So just keep that in mind. You just can't go by a set number. Oh, they approved me for up to $400,000. Like, I think they approved me by monthly budget. However, you get my point you just have to check that amount or you know you just have to check every property essentially another thing about them trying to buy the property that they live in i didn't say why that didn't work that did not work because it's in a flood zone found out it's in a flood zone and home partners was like mm -mm, we're not going forward the good thing is we found all of this stuff on the front end it's not like we got into contract yes i still did have to go through the process of putting you know everything in the home partner system but we didn't get far enough to say okay here's a contract and then finding it out on the back end so that is a plus the last thing with this search um that i want to share is that i had started um calling agents prior to and asking them, hey, would your seller be willing and open to receiving uh, a lease purchase you know, offer? And I had started doing that because there was a client that was looking like an hour from me. This was a little while ago, but we would drive an hour, get there, do everything that it takes to basically show the property and go through the whole rigmarole, the process to go get an offer. And then the person not even want to consider a lease purchase. I was like, that is an extreme waste of time.
time, of everybody's time. So instead of doing that, let me find out on the front end. And it, it worked in the, oh, this was a Dippy, but still lease purchase on the same. It's still lease purchase nonetheless. Uh, my last Dippy, you know, client, I reached out to the agent. He was like, sure, we'd be open to getting a lease purchase offer. With this one, this go round, I found a lot of agents were just shooting it down. Like, no, we're not interested. No, the seller wouldn't be interested because really and truly they should be checking with the seller. Cause they, you know, but anyway. Um, they would just say, no, we're not interested or we have so many offers on the table already. Uh, we have so many over asked or they would just shoot it down altogether. So yeah, I wanted essentially to hear, yes, we, my seller would be open and willing to consider your offer. It came to the point where I was getting a, a, a good amount of no's and I was like, all right, we're going to try something different. I guess we're going to try something different. Um, talk, the husband and I talked and he was like, yeah, don't, don't ask in, in advance because we were getting told no. And I explained why I was asking, but I was like, hey, let's give it a try. Because at this point, right, then a Hail Mary came through. Remember the first house that I told you about that mama liked, right? the contract that was contingent. It came back on the market. The agent called me. Oh, this is another nugget. Agents don't ever burn bridges or, I mean, not that you would in this case, but leave it off on a bad note or if an agent asks you a question or you just leave them on, you don't respond to them or anything like that. All these have, you know, good communication um, with listing agents because you never know when that property is going to come back on the market. I, I'm in a situation now, prayerfully, we'll be closing tomorrow where the agent that ended up getting when it came back on the market, like sh her communication was so good all the way out. And she would check in with me like, hey, is everything on track? So just keep that in mind. Uh, yeah, this agent called me. She was like, hey, it's coming back on the market. And I was like, really? And we went, put in an offer and got on the contract so that is the home that we're in it really worked out it worked out so well so well the house that they wanted it, it fits everything like it really worked out really really well i'm grateful for that shout out to the listing agent um daniel like yeah she was such a pleasure to work with and fyi she didn't know anything about home partners and i've talked about this in other videos where you have to educate them so that they don't shoot it down. That's the other thing. When people would tell me, no, I was like, hey, it's a cash offer for your seller. You know, you should consider it. <laughs> Crickets, I didn't hear anything. But with her, you know, I explained it to her. I sent her support for it. She was on board with it. And yeah, we had a pleasure working together. She is a stellar, stellar agent. And I'm gonna insert a picture of her here. She shared just some nuggets with me. We had a great talk. Um, we met at the house for me to get the key and stuff like that. Uh, so that's about it. And that, this is gonna conclude this video, guys. I am gonna sign out here. I appreciate you guys for watching. Um, if you have questions, leave them down below. Have a positive, peaceful, and productive day. Speaking of 10 years, while I'm here, 